So guys, here is, here's the woods. Here's the, the embankment where very realistically, you can see there's still like passageways, right? So th they were up here, hidden under the cover of foliage. You could see the road right there. You can't really see the historical marker, but you could see my truck, which is right where the event took place. I mean, guys, check this out, right? There's another ambush vantage point, and there was probably more trees back then. You come over here. I mean, look at there's definitely a corridor. So, look, there's another vantage point. I mean, guys, this is this was the hideout area of Frank Hamer and his posse with their automatic browning rifles and tommy guns wow this is this is amazing this is so cool guys look at this vantage point you can actually see the historical markers right there and then right in the street where well, you see where my van's parked but the drama that occurred that day right in this frame somewhere I wonder how close I actually am was old man Methvin's farm truck that he pretended was broken down and Bonnie and Clyde scooted right by right up to him to see if everything was okay and it was it was game over at that point done I can imagine the sound of the rounds popping off 50 or 60 in total equally dispersed headshots because it's a it's a beautiful peaceful place but that day I mean it must have smelt like gunpowder blood and guys like all the the mob that came upon the site I mean people were getting glass shards they were cutting bonnie's dress in her hair locks someone tried cutting clyde's trigger finger for a souvenir i mean it was a circus you know and once the ambush was over and law enforcement knew that they got the infamous bonnie and clyde he probably walked right down like i'm doing right here through the trees, out of the cover, and possibly right up to the car that was right in this vicinity after the clutch was popped and it rolled around 15 feet and stalled. So that's it, guys. My historical research. I believe is pretty accurate with what I just shared with you. This is the death road in Gibsland, Louisiana of the infamous Bonnie and Clyde. It's where it all ended right in this frame. You know, pick your exact locations. No one will ever know. But if we were to rewind it, I'm definitely close enough that you'd be able to see everything that went down. Because there's the knoll right there that law enforcement took cover in as the ambush spot. Louisiana, Route 154, the highway to hell for Bonnie and Clyde.